Hello year one, squirrels and hedgehogs. We are on lesson five today of our science, which means we only have one more left. So as always, a quick recap of what we did last lesson. All of you hopefully made a rain gauge or we saw a rain gauge and we all learned what a liquid was. Now, most of us made a fantastic log and you showed me how much rain had fallen where you lived. So please give yourselves a pat on the back for doing that. That was really amazing for us to see. Today, we are going to be looking at a thing called hibernation. Now, you might have heard of this word before, but don't worry if you haven't, because that's what this lesson is all about. So what are our objectives today? What are the things that we are aiming to know or learn by the end of our lesson? So by the end of our lesson, I'd like all of you to understand what hibernation is and understand when animals hibernate. So that might be a little bit of a clue there. So here are our key words. Remember, pause it after I've said them and have a go at saying them yourselves. So we have gather, survive, nests, underground, sleep, conserving. So to conserve something means to protect or to save something. So if I want to um, conserve energy, I want to save it, I want to protect it. And our last word is hibernation. And that is the word that we're going to be learning lots about today. Hibernation. Over the past four lessons, we have learnt all about the weather and the seasons, and we know how they can affect humans. We know that if it's really sunny outside, we might need to wear a hat. We know that if it's autumn, it's going to be quite cold and quite wet. So we know we could wear a hat, we know we need an umbrella, we know about the different seasons. But did you also know that the seasons and the weather can affect animals too? At the bottom, I have a dormouse. I have a bee and I have a hedgehog and it can affect all of these animals. It can affect more animals too. Some of you may have heard of hibernation before. So what is hibernation? If you're one of those children who know it, could you tell an adult? If you're not somebody who's heard of hibernation before, let's be detectives and use the clues below to take a guess. So have a look at the pictures. I think this is a girl sleeping. This looks like sleeping too. And I have a seasonal tree. What season is this tree from? What, what do you think is happening with hibernation? Well done for having a go. So hibernation is when animals go into a deep sleep for the whole of winter. If you guessed it, that tree was from winter. So they do this for the whole of winter. In hibernation, animals slow down their breathing and they go to sleep and their temperature gets really low to match the cold temperatures outside in winter. They do this so they can serve, can conserve, can save and protect most of their energy until it gets to the other months like spring. So hibernation is when animals go into a deep sleep for the whole of winter. Let's put that into a sentence. Hibernation is when animals go into a deep sleep throughout the whole of winter. Now I've put some pictures to help you because what you're going to do now is you're going to add the missing parts to the sentence in a second. So remember that hibernation is when animals go into a deep sleep throughout the whole of winter. Now, this is really important for animals to save their energy, but it's not like we go to sleep. When we go to sleep at night, we might go to sleep for a few hours. Hibernation is when they go to sleep for days and days and months and months. So it's when they go into a deep sleep. They don't wake up for a while. So this is your first task. Can you fill in the missing gaps? Now, I've left the pictures to help you. So hibernation is when mm, go into a deep 
the first task to see if you could fill in the missing gaps. Use these pictures to help you. Well done if you've got them right. Hibernation is when animals, because this is a fox, animals go into a deep sleep throughout the whole of winter. Okay, so why? Why don't animals, some animals, just go to sleep every night like they normally do? We've already touched on this a little bit, but they do it to conserve energy. So they stay as still as possible and they use as little energy as possible and they save it during the winter for a different time of the year. So if you run around at home or you appear at school, you're going to get really hot and you're using lots of energy. If you sit down quite still, you're not losing, you're not using a lot of energy. And that's what they do. They try to stay very still, they go to sleep and they save that energy. One of the other reasons why they need to save that energy, one, because it's cold, and two, because of a lack of food. So during the winter, some animals' food is really scarce, and that means it's really tricky to find, and there's not very much of it. So they eat, they fill up their bellies, and they eat lots of the food in the autumn and the spring and the summer when they can find it. They eat lots of it. And in the winter, when it's really tricky to find it, they stop, they stored lots of their food, they have lots of that energy, so they go to sleep whilst it's very tricky. So squirrels or hedgehogs, if you think about it, if it's a worm, are worms very easy to find if the ground is frozen? No, so they eat lots of those worms before the ground gets frozen and then they sleep and wake up when it's an easier time to use their energy or eat food. Today, we're going to focus on a couple of animals that hibernate because there's lots of them, but we can't learn about all of them during this lesson. So our first one that we're going to learn about, and you're going to need to remember the information I tell you because you're going to use it later, is a hedgehog, this little spiky hedgehog up here. So what do we think they eat? If we have a look at this picture, what do they eat? Hedgehogs like to eat insects like snails, worms, earwigs and beetles. Yum! So it's not very easy to find snails and worms when the ground is frozen or it's very, very cold. So to go to sleep, it needs to be a quiet, warm place. So hedgehogs like to find all of the autumn leaves that have fallen down in the winter and they make a nest from dry leaves and grass to keep themselves nice and warm. Now in terms of hibernating, we know that this happens in the winter and the winter happens from December when it's Christmas time till February. So a hedgehog hibernates all the way from November. So when we have fireworks in autumn, all the way into spring until the flowers start to come out and the food is easier to get. How fantastic! What animal do we have next? It's up here in the corner. Do we think it's an ant? Do we think it's a fox? No, you're right, I'm being silly. I think it is a queen bee. Now a queen bee is obviously the queen of the hive. So queen bees, they eat a thing called a royal jelly. So they feast on that before they hibernate. Now if a queen bee can hibernate for up to nine months, that's a long, long time. That's, that's a very long, that is three quarters of a year. That's almost how long we go to school for the year. That's a very large bit. That's just, that's three seasons worth. Now to hibernate, I thought, Miss Warren really thought that they, they stayed in their hives. So I was really, really interested to find that queen bees actually leave the hive and they hibernate 10 centimetres. So if you have a ruler, look at how long 10 centimetres is down in a hole in the soil. So they actually leave, they dig themselves a little hole 10 centimetres down and they stay in that hole for up to nine months of the year. How amazing is that? I never knew that queen bees hibernated. Now the last one we're going to focus on is this thing up here. Can you shout out what animal this is? I can't quite hear you, you're going to have to shout louder. You are right. It is a bat. I think bats are really cool. They, they hang upside down from trees. So 
Just like our hedgehog, because it's the cold winter months, they hibernate from hibernate, hibernate from November, so just before winter, all the way until March or April, which is springtime. So they hibernate and they sleep for the whole of winter. They tend to hibernate in old buildings, trees or caves. So they're going to sleep. Hibernation is a deep sleep. Animals go into a deep sleep through winter. So they sleep in quiet places. So old buildings. Now you don't need to worry if you've got um, bats in your house because it's old buildings where people don't live. Because bats don't really go where people live because we would be too loud and we would wake them up from their deep sleep. Just like our hedgehog, bats eat bugs, but they tend to eat more flying bugs. So they eat moths, flies, and beetles. So you can all give yourselves a virtual high five because you have learnt about three animals that hibernate. And that hibernating is when animals go in a deep sleep for which season? W -w 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 winter. So let's talk about your task, your learning. We've discussed about what hibernation is, the deep sleep, and we've looked at some animals. So your main task is to make Miss Warner, Miss Hawking, and Mrs. Sweeney a fact file about one of the three animals that we've just explored together. How amazing. Your fact file is going to look a little bit like this, but obviously a lot better, a lot more colourful and a lot more interesting for us teachers to look at. So at the top, you are going to put the animal you are doing. So that's either a bat, a queen bee or a hedgehog. In the first section, you're going to draw a picture. We're really excited to see your drawing skills. How could you draw a hedgehog? So Miss Warren has done a hedgehog. I would draw a hedgehog here. Draw a label and what they eat. So the next part is to draw and label what they eat. I know if I think back, what do hedgehogs eat? I know they don't eat donuts and I know they don't eat crisps. Um, but they are, they do live on the ground. So I think they eat lots of bugs like worms. So I might draw a worm, I might draw a big beetle and I'm going to label them a worm and beetle on the ground. Do hedgehogs hibernate in old caves? Oh, I remember. They hibernate in nests that they make out of all the leaves that have fallen to the ground. The last thing you're going to do is write how long they hibernate for. So think about the winter. And if you do get stuck and you think, oh my goodness, I cannot remember any of this, you could go back in the video or you could ask your adult to explore the internet on Google and you could find out together by looking at a book or going on the internet. What you will need to do is you're going to need to upload this to Teams so all the teachers can see what facts and what you have learned about those three different animals. You only need to choose one though. Well done for sitting into another science lesson. You are doing amazing. Bye everyone.